Hello, good evening. Hello, good night, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome. How are you tonight? Hi, Is it thank you, my Very good. That's nice. How was the weekend? What did you do on your weekend? Working, studying, busy at home. Many activities, right? Never free. <laughs> Welcome, mm -hmm. Ana Xiomara, Carlos Araí, Camila Alessandra, Rebecca Vanessa. Welcome, Oswaldo Hernandez, Elmer Giovanni. Hello, Hello good, evening. good evening. Welcome, Gwen Thank Graciela. Gwen Graciela, Nevi. Welcome. Chenis Abigail, welcome. Oswaldo Morales, we have Susana del Carmen, welcome. Gabriela Abigail, welcome. Jonathan Adonai, Brenda Rachel, Clara Judith, Maria Jose, and Karia, Carla, uh, Karen Xiomara is connecting. Welcome, guys. It's very good to see you one more time, one more session to continue talking about medications that now they are very, very common for very common illnesses and others that are new, that they are coming to this world. Remember that in the previous class, we had some common medications. Now we're going to watch the video about that. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications Antacid Muscle cream Aspirin Cough syrup Cough drops Cold pills Eye drops Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take... Give as many examples as you can look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so let's go ahead. Talking about different medications, the previous class, you said what you have at home, right? But now we can talk about what are they for? For example, if you have at home, I have aspirins. They are for the headache. What others? What others are working for aspirins? Only for the headache or any other illness, any other symptoms? Is it for the flu, for example? Aspirin? No, right. Is it for fever? No. No, right. Normally for the headache or some pain that maybe you have. You can also say, I have a first aid kit. What's a first aid kit? It is como, como complement, como un todo, verdad? Uh -huh. It's like a package. Uh -huh. Like a package that you Botiquín, have. Algo así. It is exactly. That is correct. First aid kit is that one. So it's like a box that you have all the supply elements, all the medicines. You have it in a box or in a different form, right? Of that, but it's like a box. So it contains a lot of medications. 
For examples, muscle cream, ointment, vitamins, nasal sprays. And we have other more vocabulary here. The common one that is aspirin. They also we have cold tablets, vitamins, cough syrup, cough drops, ointment, eye drops that we were discussing. There are a, a lot like AJ Modos. Then there are others, right, for your eyes. Nasal spray, like when it's not very easy for you to breathe, like... So it's necessary to put nasal spray. They are not so good. Antacid tablets that Alka-Seltzer are very common. Do you know any other antacid tablets? El you mentioned others. I'm sorry? <clears throat> El que le llaman salandrio. Ah, salandrio. That's another one. The green one, right? Is the green ones like such as good? What about the strat lozenge? Uh -huh. And for the cough, like, oh. <laughs> and you take it. So como it's dulces. like a, I'm sorry? Dulces, como la gargantina. Uh, exactly. It's like gargantina and also sorritones. Sorritones. <laughs> uh -huh. They are very famous. <laughs> Definitely. Also cream. Anti-allergic, like loratadina, right? Also, uh -huh. loratadina. Lorepenidamina. Uh -huh. That's another one. Hidroxicina also. That's anti-allergic. So those will be like pills or tablets sometimes. It can be also a lotion, maybe for the rash, right? Like you're like with the rash, sometimes put like some lotion and can like, ah, give a calm. The heating pad. When is that we use a heating pad? Tensiometro. Uh -huh, it can be, yeah. Right. La to take the pressure. What about uh -huh. ice pack? Ice pack, it contains, like, it's cold. And es para, it... como para torcedura, ¿verdad? Cuando se coloca algo helado. Ajá. Uh -huh. It can be for that, correct? And also for a headache. No compresas. Exactly. Uh -huh. You can put it on the head also. Yes. Or for a muscle that is contracted. Right? Also it can be. Or for the around the neck when you are very stressed and you put ice pack, it's very good. It helps you. And sometimes you don't need to take a pill, but ice packing can help to relieve the pain. So we have the others, one, right? Like a cough drops, like that, the ointment, eye drops that we mentioned, all of those. So we have more vocabulary there. Um, no. question, Miss. Yes, tell me. Eh, tengo la duda entre ointment, ointment, crema. Mm -hmm. Pero crema para qué? Esa es una crema, es un tubo de crema. Pero para qué, Miss? Porque Yo tenemos sé. también aquí es eh, crema, la parte de la loción, crema, es cream. Mm -hmm. Cream, verdad? Cream. Just that this one, it comes like a, in a box like this. It's a different recipient that you use it. And oil Esa milk, la, uh, ajá, that's the es difference. La diferencia, el recipiente nada más. The recipient, correct. Mm, oil okay, milk, tubo? It's a tube. Just that uh -huh. a cream is in general. Arro. Cream is in general. Cream. Solo que ointment es como un ungüento. En tubo. Ajá, so es un ungüento. Mm -hmm. Ajá, so there are different manners to call it also. Okay, thank you, Miss. You're welcome. What kind of ointments do you know? For example, there is one that is very good when it comes some eruption uh, on the lip or inside the lip or in the nose also when you have that one, like herpes. Have you ever had it gotten herpes? Like fuego, el que comúnmente le llamamos me salió fuego en la boca. No, never. So there exists sí, also. Un medicamento. Aciclovir. Aciclovir. There is one. That is ointment. Mm -hmm. Porque que la comúnmente también, también la gente se ocupa para. Hay una que también se le, le, le llaman crema combinada que lo ocupa para medio remedio. Ah. Yes, <laughs> it's true. And is that good? 
Ese depende de la, bueno, dicen que depende del laboratorio, o sea, no, no se sabe si es buena o no, pero depende del laboratorio. Ah. Oh, yeah, okay. So that is the, depends on the quality, right? The laboratory that they use it. So that is a type also of ointment. It's a combined, but it's this type of recipe. Para todo. <laughs> yeah, for everything. It's a mix. <laughs> yeah, that's true in, around, in, El centro de San Salvador, that is very common. It's a crema combinada, I say. So that is ointment. Right. <laughs> and a cream also, it can be like, for example, dolo cream. Have you heard about dolo cream? Ice cream. Aha, uh -huh, that's mm -hmm. another one. Okay. That is true. I have heard also about marihuanol. It's very popular. Okay. Cofal. <laughs> Cofal, mm -hmm. yes. Right. It's true. Cream. All of those one, correct. Okay, now let's go ahead. We have other cases. We can also include like in certain occasions that we do a certain activity. For example, whenever I have a headache, whenever, that means siempre que o cada vez que. Eso es como para, eh, es de manera más formal en lugar de decir when. It's like this. Es más común decir, when I have, when I have a headache, just that you put a comma here, when I have a headache, I take aspirin. But also you can say, whenever I have a headache, I, ha uh, I take aspirin. When, es una reducción, significa lo mismo. Solo que es menos formal que whenever. Pero tienen el mismo contexto. They have the same context. So another example here will be whenever I have a cold, I take. What can you take? You're going to give me a compliment. Whenever I have a cold, I take. Oh, so I take, sorry. Table. I, I cannot hear very well. Cold tablets. Ah, okay. Cold tablets. That's good. That's very good. Nice. What else? You're going to give me another example. Elmer Giovanni, give us a different example. Whenever I have a, a headache, I take different medication. Uh, aspirin. I take aspirin, okay, that's a good one. What about you, Genesis? Different example. Whenever I have a headache, I take different medication. In your case, Tylenol, aspirin. What else? Panadol Ultra, that's another one. Anantium. Anantium? Anantium is for a headache? Yes. yes. Oh. Anantium. Enantium. Oh. Acetaminophen. Okay. <laughs> Acetaminophen. But how many do you take for a good headache, like migraine? One or two? Two. Sometimes there is a big headache, so heavy headache that only one. Migradoxilina, miss. Migradoxilina, really? Yes, miss. Is that good? Is it very effective? Yes, very yes. effective, miss. Oh. I, look, I have taken. Dolgenal, I have taken migretil, but migretil is like a lot of caffeine. So it's like if you drink maybe 10 cups of coffee. So yes. I don't like it because it makes you feel too, uh, too active. Too <laughs> active, and that's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> and also sometimes make your heart like beat very, very fast. So that's, yes. it's not good. So dolgenal, I, I like dolgenal because it's, uh, it makes you feel like more relaxed. But sometimes if there is a big, big migraine or headache, it doesn't function. Help me with the audio, please. Oh, yeah. So it is not right. Only it depends. It depends on, on the pain. Means? Yes, tell me. Uh, header, header, se, se pronuncia? Headache. 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 Es un dolor de cabeza. Exactly. La diferencia entre headache 
¿cuál sería para decir migraña? Porque Migraña. migraña ya, ah, yes. It's a higher ya es, es a high level. Ajá, ajá yes. correcto. Let me Entonces, write it. ¿Cómo diríamos migraña? Like this, migraine. A migraine. So you can say, I have a migraine. This one. Thank you, Mish. A migraine. You're welcome. So whenever you have a migraine, what do you take? Maybe? Okay, I take Panadol Ultra. Is that very effective for you? Yes. Yes. De one las or two. Marías, creo que. <laughs> no, no, no. It has to be one or two. Roja, super Muchas. <laughs> what? Really? Depende mucho, Miss. ¿Eh? Oh, my God. So it depends on the pain, right? So what I have heard that it is maybe depends, right? Um, like, what is the cause of the pain? If the pain uh, is for a stress, it's very difficult. It takes like a, a, dur a more duration of the time to eliminate the pain. Comúnmente eh, la tengo por a veces insomnio. Ah, um, yes, it's true. Entonces, When it's... Ajá, casi no es estrés, sino que es Not insomnio. Ajá, yes, so you need... Tiene to... como una consecuencia, ¿verdad? Exactly, yes, because... It's not a, in uh, like sufficient rest that you have. So at this, the next day that you need to, right? You are, you are going to work and sí, you don't have sí. enough sleep. That's the thing. All right. What about you, Oswaldo Hernandez? Give us another example. Whenever I have. Whenever I have allergy, the, the weather. Ah, for the weather, whenever I have mm -hmm. an allergy for the weather, I take? I take um, What can you take? Loratadina. Loratadina is very good. Yes, that's true. Nice mm -hmm. one. Thanks. What about you, Genesis? Alerfin. Alerfin. That's for an allergy. Yes. <laughs> What about you, Siobhan? Yes. <laughs> a different example. Maybe a stomachache. Yes. Whenever I have a stomachache. Yes. Whenever I have uh, a pain. Whenever I have a pain. In the so, rodilla. Ah, okay. I need pain. Okay. What do you take? I take. I take. Um, yes, Dolginan. It's ketorolaco. Ah, ketorolaco, right? Yes. I eh, have heard comercial the... es, ah. es Dolginan. Dolginan. Yeah, because Dolginan contains ketorolaco. Yes. That's true, and it's very good. It's, it's relaxing, right? It's very relaxing with that. And what you miss? Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me. Si en el caso tenemos eh, un calambre, cramp, mm -hmm. cramp, no tendría que decir a take, porque no lo puedo tomar la crema. ¿Cómo se colocaría? ¿Cómo se diría? You can say, I put. I put. Entonces, whenever I have a, whenever I have a cramp, cramp a, a I put. put Uh-huh. I, I put cream. cream. And you can say I put cream on. It can be like uh, on the on La my zona. leg. Uh, exactly. Uh -huh. Or you can also say I put on cream. I put on. Me coloco. I put on. I, I put, put on cream. cream. Uh-huh. That's correct. Eliminaríamos like a, a take? Ajá. Uh -huh. Because take? take will be a pill. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Y le, le colocaríamos I put. Put. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque put. me la coloco. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I put on cream. Okay, thank you, Miss. That one. You're welcome. Teacher, igual que si eh, en el caso mío, yo tendría que decir I aspire para decir me aspiro. Ah, okay. You can use like that. Or I vaccinate or aspire. Yes, you can be like that. And you say the zoom. What is the part of the body? Um, 
no sé cómo se dice. Ah, ahí se me ha olvidado lo que me inhalo. Ah, then y Salbutamol y ah. un cafecito, se me olvida como porque tengo rinitis alérgica. Ah, I have the same case. <laughs> Obeclometasona. Oh, ah, ok. But that one, you inhale, lo inhala. Yes, is that? Yes. Then you yes. inhale. You inhale is like this. Let me write it here. Inhale. Inhale. Because the other one is exhale, but inhale, you have to inhale it. It's like some sprays, right? That you have to inhale those sprays. Any other question with this? Yes, yes question? Yes. Tell me. What is your question? No? Okay. Then let's go ahead. Hello, hello. Tell me. You got it? Help me with the audio, please. Okay. Yes. Let's go ahead on the next part. Here we have the case of imperatives. Have you heard about imperatives? Here it says that by the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. But let's check, what is an imperative? He says that the imperative is used to give commands and orders. So basically, you give instruction or you give an order to a person. Examples, open the door, clean your shoes, sit down, abre la puerta, limpia tus zapatos, siéntate. They are instructions, right? We are not asking a favor. Aquí no está pidiendo un favor, está dando una instrucción, una indicación. That's why they are imperatives. But we can also use these cases. Can also use it to make suggestions using let's plus the main verb. Main verb is the principal verb. Examples, let's run. Let's go to the beach. Let's take a picture. So when you say let's, it's that you invite the person to do certain activity. Or you give a recommendation, suggestion. Corramos, let's run. So no está dando una orden. Se escucha diferente, right? It's like you invite the person. You give advice. Let's go to the beach. Vamos a la playa. Let's take a picture. Tomemos una foto. It's a suggestion, right? Recommendation or advice. Do you have question with this? This is only no. introduction. We are going to see the examples. Okay, let's go ahead then with the next parts. That is the video. And in this one, we are going to also see a conversation and then we will practice it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. 
All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, you could there observe then about more of the imperatives that we know they are instructions. We can give instructions in the affirmatives to express that something is a good idea or is a recommendation. But also we can give negative instructions. They say, okay, it's not a good idea that you work too hard. So don't work too hard, but it's an instruction, it's an order. Normally, as the video says, when we go to the doctor, we need to follow the instructions. Take a pill every four hours. Don't work too hard. Rest in bed. Don't stay up late. Drink lots of juice. Don't drink soda. So they are affirmative instructions or negative instructions. Now, what is the structure we have? Don't, that's for the negative plus the verb in the base form and the complement. Don't work too hard. When you say too hard, you put more emphasis on something. It means that it's an excessive time of demasiado. words. Demasiado, exactly. Demasiado duro. No trabajes demasiado duro. So this is an adjective, right? Too hard. If you have a cold, take cough syrup. Remember what's cough syrup? Ambroxol, broncoelix, cough syrup. <laughs> Drink broncoelix. Drink formula 44, you said the last time, I remember. Cough syrup, right? <laughs> and you drink it. Para la irritación de la garganta. Ajá, o jarabe para la tos. Jarabe That's, para la tos. That is good, right? So it, cough syrup. Negative instruction. Don't drink cold drinks. We know that. If you have the flu or we have a, a cold, that is not a good idea to drink cold drinks. Now, I have other cases here. I have a stomachache. What can you recommend? Take a pill. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> if there is an emergency, right? The first thing, go to the bathroom. <laughs> so that can be, right? Another idea, another advice, recommendation. Don't eat junk food. You have a stomach, I imagine. And if you eat tacos, torta, burritos, 
for a stomachache? Not a good idea. What else can you give uh, to someone or any good advice to a person that has a stomachache? What can you recommend? Salandrio. Salandrius, uh -huh. okay, say Salandrius. Alcade. Alcade is very Alcadé. effective. Uh -huh. If there is an emergency. Alcacelser. Uh -huh. It's good, Alcadé. yes. Alcadé. Which one? Certal. Certal compuesto, Alcadé. I have heard. Uh -huh. Yes, so there are a lot, good. What about if I have the flu? Drink chamomile with eucalyptus tea. Rest in bed, wear a face mask. Very important, right? Wear a face mask. Chamomile, chamomile tea. This one. Mate, tiene manzanilla. Exactly, that's good. And also you can add eucalyptus. It's very good. Gengibre. Ginger, uh -huh. you can also include ginger and with honey. Yeah. It's a different flavor. You honey, honey with uh -huh. lemon. <laughs> with lemon, ah, yes, I have heard that you can also put like a, a teaspoon on a spoon. You put lemon and you put honey, then you take it. It's very good, especially when you have a cough. It can help. Natural medicine. Oh, onion. Ah, yes, that is true. I also have heard that you boiled, right? The onion, yes, but it has bad flavor, right? <laughs> but you mix it. You mix it with honey, right? For COVID. Uh -huh, for COVID. <laughs> Very effective, what I heard, yes. <laughs> That's good. Okay, any other thing that you can recommend? <laughs> Something else you can recommend? Ledvia, what can you recommend for a flu? Let's say that I have the flu. Ledvia Eloida? Este, de, de qué? If I have the flu, what can you recommend? What advice can you give? The flu, no sé. La gripe. Uh, uh -huh. um, you have the flu? What medication can we take? Tapsin. Tapsin, okay. Take yeah. tapsin. Uh huh. Yeah. That's good. Yes, you can do it. Denise, what about you? What do you think? I have the flu. Denise, are you there? Katy Esther? I take um, Birugrip. Birugrip, ah, yes, also. It's very good. Thank you. Oswaldo, do you have a question? Oswaldo Hernandez? Antifluides. Antifluides. Yes, I remember the last time you recommended. It's very good. Yes, actually. It's very good. Very good. It's actually, yes. All right. Guys, we're going to pass the list. Let me know if you are present, please. And let's begin with Álvaro. Álvaro Mauricio. Álvaro sí. Mauricio. Ana Xiomara. Sí. I am here, Miss. Thank you. Álvaro, you said present, right? Sí. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you, Álvaro. Then we have Ana Xiomara. Told me she's present. Yes, Brenda Raquel. Brenda Rachel. Present, Miss. Present, right. Thank you, Brenda. Camila Alessandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina Elizabeth. Carolina Elizabeth. Clara Judith. Present Miss. Thank you. Denise Rosalia. Present Miss. Thank you. Edgardo Ernesto. Edgardo Ernesto. Elmer Giovanni. Present, Thank you, Elmer. Elsie del Carmen. Elsie del Carmen. Gabriela Abigail. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabby. Genesis Abigail. Present. Thank you, Genesis. 
Jaime Alfredo. Jaime Alfredo. Jonathan. Jonathan Adonai. Thank you, Jonathan. Jose Oswaldo. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Xiomara. You're welcome. Thanks. I'm here. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Carla Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you. Kathy Esther. Kathy Esther. I remember I saw Kathy by there. Lázaro. Lázaro Alberto. Lázaro. Present teacher. Yes. Thank you, Lázaro. Ledvia Eloida. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Jose. You're welcome. Present. Thank you. Nevi. Present, Miss. Thank you. Oswaldo Stanley. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thanks. Rodrigo Alexis. I'm here. Thank you, Rodrigo. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Wendy Graciela. Present. Thank you so much. Jedmi Wendy Lett. Jedmi. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. All right. Let's go on then. Do you have a question with this one when you give imperatives? No teacher. No questions? Okay, let's go ahead then. You can see the screen, right? Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, miss. You can? Okay. Okay. So as we were studying there, we have the imperatives. And now we have this exercise. Write two pieces of advice for each problem. Use the sentences from part A or your own ideas. So it can be the examples from here or you can give another ones like the previous exercise that you gave. For example, in the case of this man, I have a toothache. What advice can you give? Call a dentist, but what else? Gabriela Abigail, can you give us another one? Another advice that he can follow? Eh, ponerse compresas. Ah, okay. So we can use this one, like the iced ones. You can use these ones. Let me show you. The ice pack that we mentioned. Is this one. Put on ice pack. So we can apply it to this one. Put on ice pack. What about the second one? I have a headache. Maybe? What can you recommend? A take pill. Take? Pill. Take a pill. Take a pill. Nice. Take a pill. Any other one that we can apply? Ana Xiomara? Any other recommendation for a headache? Mm -hmm. I don't you recommend take. to another person, right? So take. Say a pill. Mm -hmm. We have that recommendation already, but give a different recommendation. Rest in bed, drink a lot of water, don't work too hard, don't stay up late. Mm, no, teacher, no, no le he entendido bien. Like here, when you uh, listen to a person, like, I have a headache. What do you recommend to the person? One example could be take a pill. But what can be your recommendation? 
Como es recommendation. Uh -huh. Recommendation. Dolofin. Okay, take dolofin. So that will be the same as take a pill, right? But take dolofin. That will be a specific take pill. Dolofin. Take ibuprofen. Take ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Take ibuprofen. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Uh -huh. That's good. Right. Thank you. Oswaldo Hernandez, yes, do you have a question or a comment? Take a rest. Take a rest, yes, thank you. That is true. Like we were mentioning before, there are many of the cases that a headache, the cause is for a stress. So no Eso necessary. Yo también, que si podíamos utilizar los imperativos que ahí estaban. Yeah, sure. We can use this one or you can give your own ideas. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. You can use these ones or give original ideas that you have. So take a rest or rest in bed. That can be another one. What about if you have the flu, Susana del Carmen? I have the flu. What can you recommend? Um, take a lemon tea. Ah, okay. Take lemon tea with honey. Yes, with honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Very good. Thank you. Lazaro, any other advice? Like when you have the flu? Seria, mm -hmm. take ginger, ginger take. Ah, ginger tea. Take ginger tea. Yes, that's also very effective. Very good. Thank you. What about if I can't sleep at night? Rodrigo Beltran, what can you recommend? Well, from my perfect case, when I feel under the weather, I prefer to take a uh, natural medicine. You take national natural medicine. Okay, what type of natural medicine? Um, namely, uh, uh, I don't remember the natural uh, medicine. What about uh, guava uh, leaves? Uh, uh, I don't remember <laughs> the name. Florifundia. Let me, let me see. What? Let me see. Florifundia. What we're saying? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I don't remember. Ah, Valeriana. Tilo. Ah, Valeriana. Okay. Nerviflora. Nerviflora. I have heard. That is to call them the nerves, right? También. <laughs> la otra pasinerva que es natural también. Ah. Que es casi similar a la nerviflora. Pero Ajá. como esas son, no son inmediatas, sino que son acumulativas. Mm, because it's natural. So the process is like longer, right? You have to be patient with that with that medicine. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I prefer to go to a doctor. It's better. Or it's better, right? Because they know exactly what you have. Yeah. Yeah. So take natural medicine. Also, I have heard, well, in the case of my grandmother says that what is good is to put some leaves of lerus to boil. Mi abuelita dice que es bueno el té de las, de las hojas de la lechuga. And she says that she boils it, las hierve y se toma el té y dice que es bueno. She says it's good. I want to. De la lechuga de palmito, no exactly. de la sino que de la de palmito. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. that one, that kind of lerus. So that they boil it and make, make a tea. Or acetaminophen, as usual. Acetaminophen is got good for sleep? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. Melatonin. <laughs> oh, yes. Asleep. Ah, okay. Podríamos decir ahí también, listen to music. Oh, sure. Yes, no. you can say. Exactly. You can say, listen to relaxing music. But relaxing music, right? Because it's something that can 
It makes you feel relaxed. Específica. Algo que la relaje. Ajá. Escucha Shine música is relajante. Music. Ajá. Chinese music. Oh, Chinese music. Yes. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Melatonin. Yes. You drink that one. You know, also, like, there are some anti-allergic that will, they help you sleep. For example, hydroxycine, hydroxycina. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Uh-huh. Yes, because that, but you know, I have heard some people that they drink a lot of coffee and doesn't cause an effect. They can sleep very well. And they drink coffee, right? So maybe because they have like a, they have it to drink a lot of coffee. So they accommodate the body and they are used to. Están acostumbrados. So they drink a lot of coffee. No problem for them. Yes. Thank you. Tell me. And sometimes the clofenidamina. Clofenidamina. That's for allergy, that's right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why you have a clofenidamina. So it's... And for the vomit too. Ah, I thought it was just just to sleep or for the um the allergies. So it's also for the vomit. Ah, okay. Interesting. Good to know. Now we have the solution, guys. We cannot sleep, we can take that. <laughs> okay. Good recommendations that you gave. Now let's go ahead on the next part. We have the conversation, which we are going to practice. And we have it here. This is about don't work too hard. That's what the doctors recommend, right? Good, good recommendation. So this is like a conversation between Dr. Young and Miss West. Hello, Miss West, how are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Do you have new vocabulary? No? Miss exhausted. Is it exhausted? Exactly. Exhausted. Very tired. Yeah. Agotado. Very Or exhausted. Beer. Thank you, Miss. I'm sorry. I can say a bit when I when I ah yes, a bit exhausted. I... Just that when you say a bit exhausted, it's like a, un poco agotado. Yeah. It's like a, to put emphasis para ponerle emphasis de que no tan agotado pero un poco. It's like when you say a little. I'm I'm a little exhausted. Wrong. Wrong. This one. When you say what's wrong, is like what's the problem? What occurs to you? So what's the problem exactly? Now we can practice it. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. 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 Nice. Okay. Let's begin. Camila, you start. Doctor Yan. Hello. Hello, Miss West. How how are you today? Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Karen Siamara. That's good. Thanks, Denise. Denise, <laughs> yes. So, 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 what? What's wrong? What's wrong? Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Clara, you did. I'm exhausted. 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 Nice. Hi, Melfredo. Hmm. 
Jaime Alfredo. Brenda. Um, what are you? Why? So, why are why? you so tired? Tired. 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 That's all right. Good one. Jonathan. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Very good. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth. Okay, let's take a look at you. Very good. Karina Canales. A few minutes later, I'm going. I'm going to give you some pill. Take one. Take one pill every night after dinner. Very okay. good. Okay, that's good. Maria Jose? Okay. And don't? And don't drink, drink. coffee. Drink. Don't drink. And don't drink coffee, tea, or tea. Tea. Tea, tea. tea or soda. Or soda. Or uh, soda. Thank you. That's good. Rodrigo Beltran. Okay, let's take let's take a look at you. In this one. Yes. In, in this one it says anything else? Oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> this one. Anything else? Anything else? Very good. Lazaro. Yes. Don't work too hard. Too hard. Too hard. Nice. Susana. Thank you. Susana. Um, all, all right. right. Thank you, Dr. John. Very good job. Nice. Okay. We got this conversation. Now we have an exercise. We are going to complete these sentences. Use the correct forms of the words in the box. So we have, for example, call, listen, see, take, not go, not worry, not drink, not eat. So remember here that the negative form, we need an auxiliary. In the affirmative, you don't need an auxiliary. In the example one, you have call a dentist. Number two, don't worry too much. Too much is excessive, right? Remember, it's excessive of something. Let's continue then with number three. To aspirin. What will you hear? Okay, right? Hey. That's good. Let me write something here because here it has to be plural. It's aspirins. Like this. This is this. Who's... All right, here it was. Take take two aspirins. What about number four that is saying? I'm sorry, not go, but. You're missing an auxiliary, right? You need don't an go. Don't, don't, don't go. go. Excellent. That's correct. Don't go. Don't go to school. And what about five? Not go. Listen to relax not, music. Sorry? Not, not go is not correct because this is negative. When it's negative, you need to write an auxiliary. Okay. Please not go, right? Not go is the form, but is negative. You need to give an auxiliary. Don't go to school. It's like here. It's like in the example you have. Call a dentist is affirmative. Is Don't worry too much. Simple present. Exactly. Uh -huh. When you have simple present, you need auxiliary in negative and questions. But here, for example, that it says call a dentist, this is only affirmative. You don't need the auxiliary. Also, take two aspirins. Because it's third person. No. In the third person, you need uh, like a present. Ah, okay. uh -huh. 
But in the case that you say, for example, eh, my brother doesn't take like this. Let's give an example here. A uh, third person form. My brother takes, okay. in the case that is affirmative, my brother takes a dolphin whenever he has a backache. Like this. Or whenever my brother has a backache, he takes dolphin. As is affirmative, you use here the verb with the S form. But it's affirmative, right? Any simple present form. Okay. In the, uh -huh. You add the S, exactly. But in the case yeah. that you have a um, negative, then you say, my brother doesn't take dolphin whenever he has um, a backache. So you got affirmative and the negative. I get it. You got it? All right, good. Let's see about number five. To relaxing music. What can you do with music? Listen. 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 Excellent. To relax music. That is correct. Listen. Listen to relaxing music. In the case of number six. See a doctor. See a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. That would be maybe the best thing that we can do is see a doctor to know what exactly, what's wrong exactly. In the case don't, of seven, not dry. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Ah, that's right. Uh -huh. don't drink. It's an instruction don't in negative. Don't drink. Uh -huh. Don't drink coffee. Don't eat. Any don't, candy. Don't any, eat any candy. Any candy. Yeah, eat. if you have a toothache, uh -huh. don't eat. Don't eat any candy. So in the case that you have a toothache, but also it can work for a stomachache, right? You eat <clears throat> candy and you have a stomachache, it can cause some problem. Or also when you have an allergy, they say that if you eat candy for allergy, it's not very good. For gastritis, if you have gastritis, it's not a good idea, right, to drink coffee. So the doctor can recommend you don't drink coffee if you have gastritis. Also, in the case of beans, doctors prohibit, right, <laughs> the beans and those ones. Okay, now let's read them. Let's begin. Elmer, can you read number one, please? Number one, call. Call a dentist. That's right. Thank you. Nevi, number two. Don't go too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. That's right. Rebecca, number three. Take two aspirins. That's right. Thank you. Wendy, number four. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Very good. Genesis, number five. Listen to relaxing music. Great. Lazaro. Six. Say a doctor. Really good. That's nice. Alvaro. Seven. No. Seven. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Thank you. Oswaldo Morales. Eight. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Very good job, guys. Really nice. All right. Questions about this? You have given good recommendations and also instructions, right? Or give an order to something. But also something is not a good idea to do. That's in the case of don't. That was a piece of cake. Was it a piece of cake? That is great. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. No questions about it? So far, so good, coach. So far, so good? All right, guys. Thank you so much. We're going to move on tomorrow then.
Have a great night. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.